All right. Um, yes, Apple has front row, and uh, obviously Windows has Windows Movie Maker, and uh, sorry, <laughs> Windows Media Center. And if we look at it here, um, it's a little bit more organized, as in it uses a grid system. So uh, if we take a look at here, you've got your uh, well TV and movies, your music library, um, your pictures and videos, and your tasks and online media. So if I go to music and I go to write. Um, I can search for my music, I can go to my radio, or I can play it all, or I can go to my music library, and there you go. There's all my music right there. Um, a couple of other features that uh, Windows Vista has. Um, Leopard has iMovie, uh, uh, Vista has Windows Movie Maker, and this is a newer edition of Windows Movie Maker. and. Um, it basically serves, it, it does the same function. Uh, it serves as the same function, and uh, I mean, there's nothing really to say about it. It's just a simple movie, make, uh, movie editor. Now, if we take a look at some of the other features, um, the standard default, or uh, what comes in the package uh, with Vista um, web browser is Internet Explorer, and it ships with 7. And uh, I, mean, I mean, what do you say about, uh, you know, HTML browsers or web browsers. I mean, they're just there for what they do. Uh, but to review more on Vista itself, um, uh, you've got your basic programs in here, and uh, Windows likes to load it up with lots of um, junk, as I like to call it, where they're just applications um, other companies use as advertisement uh, so that you might be able to buy it, such as games or um, you know, virus protection software. They're all just gimmicks so that yeah, you might purchase it later on. They give you like little 60-day demos. Um, there's really not much there to it. I mean, everything is driven by this, um, what, by my documents or my computer. I mean, Windows has been around for generations, or sorry, <laughs> for years, and uh, they basically use the same uh, organization system and uh, it's the present in Vista. You can just consider it, consider it as just um, a hyped up or a glossed up or a more graphics intense Windows XP. Uh, yeah, and uh, the comparable, uh, um, what is comparable, as Rajesh said, to uh, Windows Movie Maker is uh, actually iMovie um, uh, with the Mac, which is, ac it actually comes with some very powerful video and uh, photo editing software. Uh, I mean, unlike on uh, Windows-based PCs, there's uh, often a lot of um, uh, junk, as Rajesh was talking about, extra applications that you're not going to ever need in the future that are basically just used as a sponsorship so that they can make a little extra money when they're shipping their PCs. But uh, Mac OS X in uh, all the versions really does not come with uh, that much extra software that you're not going to need. Uh, it actually just comes with the basic stuff that you're going to use every day, just to uh, create DVDs, play DVDs. Uh, I already discussed Front Row, but uh, it looks like iMovie's already popped up. Uh, if we look at that, it's a very basic editing, uh, editing software. I mean, you're obviously going to have to pay uh, a pretty penny if you're wanting something more uh, advanced like Aperture, but this is not bad. It's got the nice timeline video editing that you can use. Uh, it's uh, It just ships with a lot of good software. And uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, uh, as far as vis visual effects are concerned, uh, if we look to Mac OS X, it's, it definitely beats Vista in the fact that it's got these stacks on the bottom. I mean, that's just a really nice thing. To de it's got all your applications right there. They just pop up on the desktop there. Uh, utilities, you can actually add anything you want here. It's got downloads from the internet if you want to look at those. Uh, and uh, also, a very nice feature uh, when concerning Mac OS X is the quick look function. If you just highlight any uh, file or disk drive uh, on, on your computer and then hit the space bar, it pops up with this nice little preview of uh, everything that is contained in that folder. And uh, you can do the same thing with pictures. I have one right here. Uh, if you look here, we have uh, a screen capture right here. If you just press space, it pops up and gives you a nice large preview if you're looking for that. Uh, also, if you, uh, if you have audio clips and you uh, 
try and quick look those. Obviously, it plays through the audio clip. Uh, it's just a nice way of previewing uh, all your stuff. If you have a text file, it'll pop that open. Pretty much any file type uh, that you're going to be looking at on your Mac is able to be opened with a quick look uh, function. And just overall, the uh, nice vis visual effects that Mac OS X likes to put a lot of detail into, uh, into their operating system. Make sure not only does it run and does it run well and on not too heavy of, uh, and not too hardware dependent, but they also uh, pay attention to the minute details. I mean, as far as like their icons, they go up to a nice big resolution and don't get blocky um, towards the higher end resolutions and just they, they, they like to pay attention to uh, a lot of detail when they're developing these operating systems and that's definitely something that makes it uh, very uh, good to look at.